Hello everyone and welcome to our assembly whether you're at home or in school and before we begin we always light a candle to remind us that Jesus the light of the world is with us always. Now that the lockdown is beginning to ease a little, lots of things that couldn't happen before have started up again. And one of those is construction work. And I bet that if you've been around Iceland or Fordham, you've seen lots of building work going on. And in Chippenham, we're really excited because the work on building an extension for our church has started. It will provide space for a little kitchen and best of all, a toilet and washing facilities. Every day as I go past with my dog for a walk, I've been watching the builders progress. And it's really hard work, especially when the heavy blocks for the foundation have needed to be moved around. Have you ever tried lifting something that's really heavy, perhaps a big book or a box or a big stone like this? It's okay when you only have to carry it around for a little while, but the longer you have it and hold it, the heavier it seems to get. That's why builders have to make sure that they have a break whenever they get tired, otherwise they could strain muscles or cause damage to their bodies. And they also know how important it is to take a good rest at the end of the day so that they can be strong and ready for all that heavy lifting the next day. You know, sometimes it can feel as if we're carrying really heavy burdens around. I don't mean real bricks or stones, but things in life that make us feel sort of heavy inside, sad things, things that worry us, things that can make us feel bad inside. Perhaps it could be that like me, You've really missed being with close family and friends and giving them hugs. I know that makes my heart feel sort of sad and heavy. Or it might be that you know someone close to you is, who's ill or in hospital or getting old and frail and you're worried about them. Perhaps you're worried about being away from school or going back to school and that's weighing on your mind. Perhaps you've sometimes said bad things or been mean to a member of your family or a friend and now you feel bad about it. Or perhaps someone's been mean to you and said bad things that hurt you and you can't stop thinking about it. Or it could be that you know someone else who's carrying a heavy burden Perhaps a grown-up in your family who's worried about work or about losing their job or not having enough money for holidays and nice things for their family. Just like those builders, it's not good to carry those heavy burdens around all the time because it can make us feel really tired and really unhappy inside. Jesus came to be with us and through his Holy Spirit is still with us in all that life brings. All those things that make us laugh and the joyful and wonderful times we share with others that make us feel light and happy inside. And all of those things that make us cry and the scary and worrying times that make us feel heavy and sad inside. And when we do feel we're carrying those heavy things inside us, Jesus says, Come to me, all of you who are tired and have heavy loads, and I will give you rest. And the way he does this is through his Holy Spirit, which he called the Comforter. Now, the word Comforter can have two meanings. First, Comforter can be something that you can wrap around you in America they call scarves comforters. Or it can be something like a comfort blankie. I have a really special comfort blankie here. A wonderful lady called Mrs Ish made it for one of my grown up girls when she was very little. 
and now she's grown up, her little boy cuddles up in it and it makes him feel safe and secure. And that feeling of safety and security is something that the Holy Spirit can give us. Second, if you go back to the origin of the word comforter, it's actually two words put together. Come, meaning with, and fort, meaning strength. Think of a strong fortress. So the comforter is with strength, the one who comes to give us strength when we need it. So when we feel as if we're all weighed down by feelings of worry and sadness or bad things that we've said or mean things that we've done or that others have done or said, all those things that make us look and feel sad, sometimes outside as well as inside, we know that just like that comfort blankie, we can cuddle down and we can ask for Jesus to come close and give us comfort. And he will. His Holy Spirit will enfold and encircle us with God's love. And then we can tell him just how we feel and put those heavy thoughts to one side and find rest in God's love. Not only that, the comforter, the one with God's strength, will come and give us the strength we need to start afresh after we've rested. Now, sometimes when we've taken time to rest in God's love, we'll find that those things that have weighed us down don't feel so heavy. And sometimes they will no longer be there at all. At other times, they will still be there. But we can be certain that each day we can ask for and be given God's strength to help us along the way. And each night we'll be encircled by his love, just like your comfort blankie. And we'll remember him saying, come to me, all of you who are tired and have heavy loads, and I will give you rest. So some things to think about there. I'm going to take my comfort blankie off. That's been really lovely and snug. I'm going to end with the Lord's Prayer. You can join in if you wish. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Keep safe, keep well, and God bless.